Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about functions in dart programming so guys functions are nothing but these are the building blocks of readable maintainable and reusable code a function is a set of statements to perform a specific task so guys we have already seen some functions in the previous videos as well so basically this void main this is one of the built in functions in dart programming and pretty much any other programming language if you learn so guys this main is the function name and this void before the function name is the return type of this function the function name is followed by this open and close brackets in which we can provide the parameters as well so this is one of the predefined functions in dart programming we are going to learn about user defined functions in this video so guys if you have any set of statements to be executed you can put it in a function and call that function again and again and that is the property of a function that is it is a reusable code also you can maintain it so it's another property is it is maintainable and it is readable as well so guys let us check this with the help of example so let's say we want to have a function which adds two numbers so what we will do is we have to write the function outside this main function over here so we will name the function as add two numbers so guys after having this name of the function we can have open and close brackets and this is the way we define the function inside this function we can have the lines of code to be executed so inside the curly braces we have open and close curly braces and inside this we can put our statements now guys another important thing over here is as i said before the function name we have to have a return type of the function so now what we will do is we will just print the sum of two numbers so in this case we are not returning any thing so i will put the void so void is nothing but we are not returning anything from this function and then inside this what we will do is we will print two numbers so let's say we have integer a it is equal to 1 and then we have integer b it is equal to 2 and then we have another integer c it is equal to a plus b and then what we will do is we will print this sum that is the sum of a and b is dollar c so the sum of these two numbers is stored in the variable c so guys in this way we have already defined a new function so this is the first part that is defining a function now guys without calling a function nothing will happen so what i will do is let's say we have just defined this function i'll save this file and try running this code so over here we have dart keyword followed by the program name dot dart So as you can see nothing got printed over here that's because we have not called this particular function that is add two numbers yet so we are supposed to call it and we just have to provide the function name so i'll just copy this and paste this over here followed by open and close brackets and inside this we call parameters that we can pass but for now it doesn't accept any parameters over here so what we will do is we will provide a semicolon over here and in this way we call this function a function which is not having any parameters and this function will be called in this way and we will have the print statement over here so i'll save this file and try running this code So as you can see we have the sum of a and b is 3. Now guys there is another important function over here that is parameterized function. So first we will check this parameterized function and then we will check this returning function. So parameterized function is nothing but we are providing some parameters over here while calling that function. So let's say if we want to provide the value of a and b from this main function itself. So over here what we will do is let's say we have 2 comma 3 so these are nothing but these are multiple parameters we can either provide one parameter over here in this way that is an integer or else multiple parameters separated by comma so we have comma and then 3 and then in the same way guys this has to match with the function that is already defined and over here we do not have anything inside these open and close brackets which is accepting these two numbers so in the similar way what we have to do is we have to provide let's say variable a comma variable b so this is nothing but this is accepting the parameters from where the function is called over here so what we have to do is we will remove this a and b 
So actually what we are doing over here is instead of defining the integers a and b inside this add two numbers we are providing it while calling this function. So 2 and 3 will be passed over here. This variable a will have the value 2 and variable b will have the value 3 and then these two numbers will get added and then in the integer c it will get stored. So let us save this file and try running this code. So as you can see the sum of a and b is 5 since we are passing 2 comma 3 and then what I will do is let's say if I want another set of numbers to be added so I'll just copy this and paste this over here and I'll provide more values that is 10 and 20. So we are calling this function two times one with two and three values another time with 10 and 20 values let's save this file and try running this code. So as you can see first line the sum of a and b is 5 that is after calling this function for the very first time and then when the control goes to the next line this function will be called again and the value of a and b will be 10 and 20 in this case and then 10 plus 20 that means 30 will be allocated to this variable c and the same number will get printed over here and we can see the sum of a and b is 30 and in this way we can use the parameterized functions as well. Now guys let's say I don't want to print the sum in this function but I want to print in this main function itself. So what I will do is I will just remove this, I'll cut this over here, I'll remove this line of code, I will just invoke the function only once and then what we will do is we will have a variable c in this case and then we will remove this statement. So what we are doing over here is we are calling this function with parameters that is 2 and 3 that is it will be assigned to the variable a and b and then what we will do in this function is just return the sum of these two numbers. So we have a return keyword which returns something and this is called as returning function. So guys what it will return is some arithmetic operations between a and b we can do over here. So what we can do is we will return a plus b. Either we can do it in this way that we can have a variable c over here and then we can have a plus b in this case and we can simply return c over here and in this way we can also return these parameters over here but instead of this void in this case what we have to do is we have to specify the return type so guys this is important if we want to return an integer type we have to provide this end keyword or else it can be a string keyword or double keyword as well depends on what type of variable we are returning in this case and then guys what will happen is once we call this 2 and 3 will be passed to this particular function and then 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5 which will be allocated to this variable c and this return c will return the value of this c and then it will allocate to the c variable over here in the main function and then the sum of a and b is c will be printed. What I will do is let's say we change the numbers to 5 and 6 over here. So I'll save this file and try running this code. So as you can see we have the sum of a and b is 11 and in this way we can have the returning functions as well. To make it more shorter what we can do is we can remove this variable c expression as well and we can just put return a plus b. So this will also have the same functionality. Let me change these numbers to 11 and 9 so which will become 20 in this case. Let's save this file and try running this code. So as you can see the sum of a and b is 20 and in this way you can easily use the functions. You can call them any number of time with any values that you want provided that it matches the syntax of this function that we have defined. So guys that's it in this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is recursive functions in Dart programming. So stay tuned.